So, what we're trying to do is develop vision and muscle memory once again. To do that, we're going to put four lines down. As you can see, I'm putting down my tacks. One, two. One, two. And then I'm going to puddle up first and push through, trying to develop that nice, even travel speed. Now, on this second weld, you're going to see that I'm going to go almost twice as fast as I did for the first weld. I'm not laying down enough heat or enough filler metal to create the proper size bead for this material. The third weld, one, two, one, two. Now, as you can see, I developed too much of a puddle. There's way too much filler metal there. There's way too much heat. I'm burning through a little bit. The puddle is wetting out really wide on the edges. And as I push through, I'm going almost half the speed as I did for the first weld. On this fourth and final weld, what's going to happen is I'm going to start rolling my hands back as I push. What's happening is I'm diminishing my shielding gas. The arc isn't coming up to temperature. It's not being controlled by the shielding gas. The shielding gas is no longer protecting my liquefied materials and it's cold and dirty now welding. Flip it over. Now, as you can see, when I flip over the sheet of steel, there's too much penetration. You got too much material coming through to the opposite side. This makes for a very weak weld.